What's going on everybody? This is Jan716 back here again and today I want to talk to you guys about this Eagles versus Cowboys football game here. And uh well first off I'm just gonna say this. How about them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys? For Cowboy fans, Cowboys Nation all over the world, for family and friends of mine, because especially me, calling out Big Mike, calling out all my cousins, uncles, and friends, that are Cowboys fans and that kept knowing me about the Patriots-Bills game yesterday, but also kept talking about how they're going to win the NFC East. But even prior to the NFC East talks, these Cowboys fans have been talking to nothing, nothing about just it's always talking about Super Bowls. And it's really it was really annoying. Right? Everybody hates the Cowboys. Everybody hates the Cowboys. But these Cowboys fans, man, they, they just think that they just that, that they the shit. They just think they the shit, man. So these Dallas Cowboys came into this game with a lot of high expectations. Steamrolling the Los Angeles Rams last week. Dominating them on the ground game. Having almost 300 yards rushing with Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard. Dak Prescott was efficient. Michael Gallup and Amari Cooper and Austin was doing whatever they wanted to that Ram squadron. And the Eagles have been struggling. The Eagles lost to the Dolphins. They uh, barely beat the Washington Redskins and the New York Giants. So everyone thought them Cowboys fans kept talking. Kept yapping. Saying that they were going to go on here. And that they were going to dominate the Philadelphia Eagles. They are going to steamroll the Eagles. Michael Irvin, even the legendary Tony Romo and Troy Aikman, predicted that the Cowboys were going to win this game. Emmett Smith, all the legendary Cowboy fans, the great Red White, out there saying that the Cowboys were going to steamroll the Philadelphia Eagles this game. But that didn't happen, did it? Because guess what the score was? 17-9. You see, when Dak Prescott threw the ball more than 40 times, another 40 passing attempt type of game, and he was inefficient this game. But you know what? Not, not all the blame goes to Dak Prescott because, you see, when Michael Gallup dro is dropping passes and Cooper's dropping passes and, you know, Elliott couldn't get it going in the ground game. I mean, they, the, the ground game was unsuccessful. You know, you can't really blame it all on Dak Prescott, and he doesn't deserve all the blame. But... At the end of the day, these Cowboy fans, I don't, I, I don't know, man. These Cowboy fans, don't blame Dad Prescott. Don't blame him for it because it's not his fault. He has a AC joint on his arm. He's dealing, he's going through a lot, so don't blame Dad Prescott. Blame Jason Garrett. Blame Jason Garrett. Blame Jason Garrett. And also blame the great, the legendary Jerry Jones. You see, Jerry Jones, this all started when Jerry Jones just could not fire Jason Garrett. He just couldn't fire him, could he? You knew, Cowboys fans knew he wasn't the, he wasn't the choice. I knew he wasn't the choice. Everyone knew he wasn't the choice. But Jerry Jones, his son, his second son, or his adopted son, and the legendary Jason Garrett, the nice guy that he is, Jerry Jones just couldn't let that man go. He thought that this was the one. He is the Mr. Nice Guy. Mr. Cowboy. But at the end of the day, Jason Garrett has put this team through mediocrity for years. Whether if it was the three consistent 8-8 eight and eight top seasons, which cost y'all guys the NFC East to the Redskins, Eagles, and the Giants. Whether if it was the legendary, uh, uh, the legendary, Des Bryant drop at Green Bay, which wasn't a, which was a catch, by the way. But who cares? Just whether it was the Tony Romo era, now the Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott era. You see, the Cowboys have always had the talent. The Cowboys have they've always had the talent. All these legendary players and, and pro bowlers that they've always had. But they've always been underachievers they've always been and the publicity 
the hype that the Dallas Cowboys continue to get every single year, the fact that they're consistently on the national spotlight is absolutely bonkers. Because, you know, when we talk about America's team, isn't America supposed to be about winning? Isn't America supposed to be the greatest country of all time? It's supposed to be the greatest country in the world, right? So when we talk about America's team, what about the Pittsburgh Steelers? What about the Green Bay Packers? Hell, I know everyone's think that, the, including myself, that the Patriots cheat, but God damn it, they are the Patriots, and they win. Despite them being cheaters, they win. You don't think America cheats? We cheat. You don't think the Patriots, the Patriots, man, they win. So even the New England Patriots can get America's team. But the Dallas Cowboys just have that title. And I don't get why. Why? Because some, some guy said it in, back in the 60s. Come on, man. Come on now. But, hey, they were on the national spotlight tonight. And they got embarrassed by the Philadelphia Eagles. Those same Eagles, by the way, that were struggling against the Washington Redskins, the Dolphins, and the Giants. It sucks being a Cowboys fan right now, if I were you guys. For, for all the Cowboys fans, it just sucks, man. It sucks being a Cowboys fan. I know it is right now. I know, I know you guys are going to feel heat for your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, your mothers and fathers that are not Cowboys fans. I understand it. Trust me. I understand. But at the end of the day, you got to take the heat. And uh, it sucks. But... You guys are going to go on your fire Jason, Ge Jerry, Jason Garrett campaigns. You guys are going to go on your Jerry Jones Please Retire campaign. But you know what? You know that won't happen. You know that Jason Garrett won't be fired because that is Jerry Jones' son. And unless Jerry Jones relinquishes his power, the Cowboys will continue to be a mediocre football team. A team that consistently underachieves no matter how much talent is on that football team. Now to those Philadelphia Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. You got one more game to win the NFC East. You beat the Giants, you win the East. But if you lose, those Cowboys will get that East. And if they do get that East, they will lose in the first round. But the Eagles did their job. They stopped Elliott. They stopped Prescott. Cooper kept dropping passes. Gallup kept dropping passes. And Carson Wentz, my buddy Carson Wentz. Got the job done. Very efficient. Completed almost 70% of his throws, 300 yards. Dallas Goddard, Zach Ertz, those guys are playing hurt, but they had one hell of a ball game. And my buddy sitting to Jones in that last play. My buddy sitting to Jones out here putting in work. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for this video. If you guys like the video, please hit that subscribe button, share the video, and also like it. I would very appreciate it, but guys, if you, not, if you don't want to, that's fine, because you know what? I'm having a really, really good day. Now, yesterday, my Buffalo Bills lost to those Patriots, and I was down and depressed the entire day until today. Once those Cowboys lost, my Christmas is going to be spectacular. I hope yours is very well, too, unless you're a Cowboys fan. How about them Cowboys, America? How about them Cowboys? They just never let you down, do they? They just never let you down.